Thomas Montgomery was a completely average married father of two living in Clarence, New York. To let off some steam, Thomas decided to play Texas Hold'em on Pogo.com with some friends, and this is where his life would take a wild and tragic turn. Thomas decided to take advantage of the anonymous nature of online friendships to become a completely different version of himself. Quote, that person would be 18-year-old Marine named Tommy. He would be a black belt in karate with bullet scars on his left shoulder and right leg, thick red hair, and impressive dimensions. He also decided that Tommy would be a millionaire somehow. This new version of Thomas logged on to Pogo.com in the spring of 2005 under the name Marine Sniper and had the confidence to chat with a 17-year-old girl named Jessica from West Virginia who played under the moniker Tall Hot Blonde 50. Tommy told Jesse he was headed to Iraq and that he could only chat sometimes because the Marines limited his internet access. Jesse sent Tommy beautiful photos of herself. They quickly fell in love, and eight months later, they were actually engaged. Thomas started telling his coworkers he was going to leave his wife to be with Jesse and actually thought that he was physically going to turn into an 18 year old version of himself at some time, and his journal entries backed up these delusions. In February of 2006, Thomas's wife, Cindy, found some gifts that Jesse had sent him and confronted Jesse to let her know that her fiancé was not an 18-year-old, but was in fact a 46-year-old father of two. Jesse was devastated and reached out to one of Thomas's friends and co-workers, 22-year-old Brian Barrett, who also played games online. Brian confirmed that Thomas was a 46-year-old father of two and not an 18-year-old hot marine millionaire. Jesse and Brian quickly became romantically involved and would gang up on Thomas in online chat rooms where they would call him a child predator. Brian would also brag about his relationship with Jesse at work in front of Thomas. Despite all of this, Jesse continued her flirtation with Thomas, and at one point, Thomas was chatting with Jesse so frequently he was barely sleeping. Thomas was also obsessively working out, and his relationship with Jesse would swing between very romantic and extremely abusive and jealous. So on September 15, 2006, Brian Barrett left work at 10.15 p.m., and when he got into his truck, he was shot three times, taking his life instantly. Police tried to reach out to Jessie to let her know that she could be in danger, but were only able to get a hold of her mother, Mary. After some pressuring, Mary admitted that she had been the one chatting with both men the entire time and had used her teenage daughter's identity to lure them in. Neither Jesse nor Tommy were the people they said they were, and Brian lost his life as a result. In the end, Thomas took a plea deal for manslaughter and was sentenced to 20 years in prison for the murder of Brian Barrett. <laughs> 